okay guys you can see i'm on my pc screen right now let's launch the pcsx2 app firstly and you can see i have got the pcsx2 window now let's go to config configuration and then i'll firstly configure the video go to video plugin settings and you can see the first option here renderer you can either choose this direct 3d 11 hardware or you can also choose the direct 3d 11 software which one works best for you you can try any of this okay i'll just put it on hardware firstly and for the adapter you can click on the drop down arrow and then choose the intel usd graphics okay okay keep the other settings as it is and then go to shader configuration here and right here you can see texture filtering of display is ticked we have to untick this okay and then press ok okay all other settings should be kept as default now press ok and then go to configuration one second and we can go to emulation settings now okay on this screen you can see here first second third these three options should be kept as default you can see here eiop bus and then gs these three should be kept as default we don't want to change anything here okay let's go to the fourth option that is gs window and on the aspect ratio you can select any other ratios here either wide screen or fit to window screen if you have a low end pc you can just select this standard 4 is to 3 okay i have a decent pc average pc but i'm gonna keep it to standard 4 3 okay for the second option that is fmb aspect ratio override you can select from the drop down arrow if you have a high end pc you can select 16 9 or 4 is to 3 i'll just keep it on default okay and also you can choose custom window size now currently it's 640 into 480 but you can change these values also let me put here 1280 into 720 okay and all these settings can be kept on default if you want okay then press on apply at the bottom okay and then let's go to the main settings that's called the speed hacks here now we're gonna untick this pressure option here and for the first option that is ee cycle rate you can just put it on one and for the ee cycle is skipping you can put it on two everyone knows these two settings pretty much very well that is one and two respectively okay and then you have to tick this option mtvu okay and then just untick this last option that is enable fast cdvd okay just press on apply and then press on ok i think this is all that we need let's see some more settings okay plugins memory cards emulation video gs controllers okay this is pretty much everything and i'm just gonna test one game that is wwe smackdown here comes the pain okay system boot i show And then you can see it's showing me in big screen because I have selected 1280 into 720. I'm gonna put it on full screen. And you can see this is running on my PC very well. Thanks for watching guys. Those are the best settings for PCSX2 if you wanna play the PS2 games on your PC. And if you have a low end PC, these settings are most. Okay, if you like this video, then just give a thumbs up. And if you have found this video very useful, then don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll be coming up with new videos like this very soon. Until next time, peace. Bye.